back with an issue that faces as many as 40 million Americans, symptoms of anxiety disorders. Yeah, and when it comes to treatment, antidepressants and therapy have long been the solution, but there is encouraging news on another option after a first-of-its-kind clinical trial compared the generic version of an antidepressant mm. and the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness. All right, NBC's Ann Thompson is here to walk us through what you found, and this is groundbreaking and with science to back it up. Right, and this is the first time there is actual science comparing a generic antidepressant, mm -hmm. Lexapro, to mindfulness mm. meditation. And so it's out of Georgetown University. They took two groups of people. Mm -hmm. One did eight weeks of Lexapro, the generic mm -hmm. version. The other did eight weeks of mindfulness. And they found in the end that in both groups, the symptoms of anxiety disorder decreased 30 Wow. There wow. Really wasn't a difference whether you took the pill or you did the mindfulness. Now, there are differences in the side effects. Obviously, the pill's easy, but it comes with mm -hmm. nausea, mm -hmm. headaches, and sexual dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness is a time commitment. The people in this study did a weekly class for eight weeks, two and a half hours in person, and then were asked to meditate at home for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's your mm -hmm. choice. Do you want convenience, or do you want to commit the time, and then have a skill that you can do That's anywhere. Fascinating. But there is meditation that doesn't take as long. long as that. Right. And again, once you learn it, it's free. I recently started meditating, mm -hmm. and I actually didn't think I could do it. I was like, who could sit still <laughs> for 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. And then you find yourself with a lot of like clarity, and especially mm -hmm. on our jobs where mm -hmm. you have to be up at the crack of dawn. If you do it before, like I, I feel strangely clear when I come in here now mm -hmm. as opposed to before. The rest of us just blur on in, but it is <laughs> true. I mean, once you do it, it's like practice. Yeah. You get better at it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I was talking to a woman who um, she suffers from anxiety yeah. and she doesn't do it every day, but she says when she feels those feelings coming on, she has something to turn to That's that good. allows her to get the self the control back over her life and her And mind. there are studies that actually do brain scans side by side. Yeah. Hmm. Someone who meditates versus mm -hmm. someone who doesn't. Mm -hmm. And you can actually physically wow. see it. See the no, it's fascinating. Was, right. In yeah. fact, there was a study out of UCLA that mm -hmm. found that people who meditated for an average of 20 years actually increased the gray matter in their brain. Wow. Yeah. 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 So wow. there are physical Sounds impacts. Way better than drugs. Yeah. So good, <laughs> stuff. good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.